Hey Libra, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for what to expect this summer. Any information you need, you can find it down below. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Follow me over there for a chance to win a free personal reading. Um, I do have personals open to purchase right now as well. The information for that is down below. Um, also, some information on the tarot course that I'm offering. And, of course, a link to my Patreon page. There will be a detailed version of this over there. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. All right. Two majors so far here, Libra. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six. I love that that one came out. Your overall energy, though, is the Two of Pentacles, okay? So, Libra. Some of you could have Jupiter in Capricorn or Jupiter in Leo. You don't have to. Some of you could have Mars in Aries, possibly. Um, let's look at this here. All right, so there's obviously something serious going on. You've got six majors out here in a nine-card spread for the summer, okay? Now, in the month of June, you have the Six of Wands. You have the High Priestess. I, right off the bat, I feel like there's some hidden talent here. I feel like there's something brewing. Like, there's something that's causing you to hide. There's something that's causing you to hide. Like, I feel like you're in hiding uh, for some reason here, Libra. There's something that you're, you're holding a lot of yourself back, basically. I feel like you're not being fully seen or you're not being fully heard. And you're either doing this, uh, you're, you're doing this on some level, even if you're just allowing yourself to be pushed to the back here. That's how it feels to me, Libra. It feels like it's just time for you to come out of hiding. I think you're realizing that in the month of June. You're like, I keep being pushed to the background because the Six of Wands is a card of like getting a lot of recognition, getting attention, being noticed, being praised, uh, being rewarded. And then you have that High Priestess, which is like something that's behind the veil. So I feel like there's either a lot of um, talent or truth. Like there's something here that you've not expressed. Like you have kept it behind the veil or somebody has kind of pushed you behind the veil. It's one of the two, but I feel that things are brewing and you know, you're trying to come up with a way uh, to get yourself out there basically. So that's what it looks like in the month of June. Uh, you're just trying to come out of hiding, all right? It's not clear whether you're putting yourself there or whether somebody is pushing you, you know, back or putting you on the back burner, whatever the case may be. But you have the Two of Pentacles here. You're trying to balance things out. You're trying to make sense of things and, you know, like I said, come out of hiding. Now, in the month of July, you have some very wise, godlike energy showing up here in the month of July. You've got that death card. You have the hermit, right? So, um, you know, I do feel like your angels are kind of pushing you here. I feel like God is kind of pushing you here. The page of wands. I mean, I feel like you are... All of a sudden, there's this energy of impatience about you in the month of July. Like, you're realizing that in the month of June. You're like, okay, well, something, there's something here that's been going on for too long that's been keeping you in the shadows, basically. You're like, you know, it's my time. So, you're trying to put plans into action is how this feels. And in the month of July, it's like, God is like, now. <laughs> you need to come out now. Like, there's no waiting on approval. There's no waiting on agreement. You just have to let yourself be known. Um, and that's the energy that I feel. You know, that's the energy I feel. I feel that there's a serious need for you to speak your truth. There's a serious need for you to let your talents shine. Like, there's a lot about you that's been kept hidden for a while, Libra. In the month of uh, August, you have the star, you have the two of wands, and you have the sun. Now, the two of wands, that's a young emperor there in that card. That's Aries energy. It's Mars and Aries, and Mars is Aries' natural ruler. We have this star here. I think you're realizing what direction you're going to take things in. I feel like you actually end up going for a lot of new things. We're going to see what that is. We got Aquarian energy here. We've got Leo. We've got Virgo. We've got Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aries. We've got a lot of different cards out here. Now, some of you, if you are single, you may have a fire sign who moves towards you in the month of July, but I feel like a lot of the focus truly needs to be on yourself at this time. Like, there's a lot more that you want, and God is asking for you to demand it now. That's the energy that I'm getting for the summer, and you're going to start making plans to go down a new path, and you're going to let that be known. I love it that we end with the sun card here, because like I said, you've been in the shadows, and the sun, like, exposes things. You know, you're out there in the open. It's also the happiest card in the deck, and it represents new beginnings as well. 
So, Libra, if you are joining me on Patreon, go ahead and think of a yes or no question. We're going to answer that up over there before we get into the clarifying. Links are down below. Uh, don't forget that I have personals open, also a tarot course if you all want to check that out. And don't forget to follow me on social media for a chance to win a free personal. If this is where we part, Libra, thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your summer. Bye.